we're excited to show you a game-changing backpack that I just took to Nepal. Welcome folks to another edition of Gideon's Tactical. My name is Brian, I'm a guest reviewer today. Normally I'm behind the camera, but I'll be in front today. I just got back from a two week trip to Nepal where I took the brand new Mountain Smith Divide backpack. And you know, this backpack, when I first got it, I thought it'd be real functional and kind of a good you know, backpack to use. But I really feel like this backpack is a game changer when it comes to travel backpacks and traveling through airports, being in, uh, in foreign countries has been great. And I wanted to show you some of the highlights about this pack and if it's going to be useful and a good purchase for you. So you'll see that we have heavy duty Cordura fabric. Mountain Smith is known for making great quality packs that are, it's great fabric, does really well in all situations. Again, this is traveled uh, through airports and all that kind of stuff, like I said, on my way to Nepal, in Nepal and back from Nepal. Um, you'll notice us, we're going to talk a lot about some real standard features in backpacks and things that this has. But I want you to hang around for the end of this video because, again, there is one feature of this backpack that we really believe is literally mind-blowing and is multi, has a multi-use and I think is really makes the, brings the value of this backpack up. So let's go ahead and get into the inside of the backpack. So I like this where it only zips halfway kind of on one side and then it's further down on the other so it, it lays open like this. So we have, again, contrasting material where it's yellow, really easy to see in low light. You have three little pouches here. I've got my pen. You've got a little, this is for the uh, water bladder sleeve. I used it for my iPad and for my keyboard, my mini keyboard that I brought with me. Um, again, really deep. The other thing too, it's a good rectangle size in here too. I just have some drives and different things in here. Um, have a, another pouch that's up top here with uh, kind of a mesh pouch so you can see other things in there. Shameless promotion for holy crap, my book. How about that? That's also a video on the, on the channel. Uh, inside here you have a kind of a real nice soft material in here for your glasses and a quick little Velcro piece here. Again, real simple. Um, good YKK zippers that are on here as well. Really, really good quality. So you'll notice on the front panel of the backpack has this old school little uh, diamond shaped leather piece here. I think it was on a Jansport backpack when I was in junior high. I think I had one of these. And um, you know, all kinds of attachments, little things in here. It's real good, you know, Good, good quality leather. So let's talk about this front pocket here. It's kind of interesting. So I used this for my books that I was carrying on the trip. So I had some books here that, again, they fit in here. The kind of nice thing too about this front pocket, again, opposable, that yellow color material inside, is that it stops right here. And um, you know, so for some people too, if you have an iPad or something, if you didn't want to carry in here, you have, and if you have your water bladder, if you wanted to put an iPad, this is a, a iPad Pro. 10.5-inch, uh, and actually it sits up off of the, the ground, so when you set this on the ground, you know, you're not going to be hitting the iPad on the ground. It actually stays zipped up up above the molly straps right here, which is really, really nice. And again, these front molly, um, you know, we Aaron and I have talked about this a few times. I mean, it's just really low. It's not really useful for anything for us. We'd rather have it up higher on the pack. But uh, again, you know, again, some area that you can lash some things to, but again, just the front panel is pretty useful, and this front pocket's nice. This is a pretty wide mouth to fit in here. I know that, um, that one of the silo water bottles will actually fit in here in the Nalgene. And then this is a really, really good strap on here too to be able to secure your water bottle. So the other side of the backpack has this little pouch. When I first saw this, when Aaron handed it to me, I was like, that is a really cheesy and kind of a goofy little pouch. 
Okay, so one thing I'll tell you, if you're gonna travel in an airplane, and especially for international travel, this perfectly fits a passport. I have my um, iPhone 8 Plus, and uh, again, you know, the biggest iPhone, I mean, a lot of this is kind of like the standard size of the larger smartphones. Perfectly fits in there and Velcros that down. It's really good Velcro. The other thing that this is really good for is if you have a bunch of stuff in your pocket, you know, you're getting strip searched at, from TSA at the airport, you can put all of your, you can put your watch in here, you can put your wallet, you can put your phone, everything in there real quick when you're standing in line and just Velcro that down real quick, put it through the scanner, you come back out, undo it and you get, get, can get back in it. The other thing too that I noticed when we were on the trip is that um, the size of this is perfect for an additional water bottle sleeve. So you pull this out, put, tuck that strap back in, and even for this one is a little bit taller. I have another one that's just a regular um, Nalgene bottle that fits in there. But actually, you know, it's not unreasonable to have that as an additional water bottle, water bottle pouch. The other thing we were talking about is if this could have like some kind of a compression strap or something on here just to tighten that, it'd be great because it could get, again, be multifunction. And uh, again, you could have two water bottles on here, which isn't super necessary all the time. But if you are hiking and you want to take it up in the mountains, you want to stay hydrated and have enough water, that would be ni really nice to have that as a feature. So the back of the Mount Smith Divide has pretty standard, uh, you know, shoulder straps, has a really, really good and large, I really appreciate this. When you put your full hand through that, um, and I appreciated this too as far as on the, on the airplane, when I had this up in the upper bin or whatever, I mean, you just grab it with your hand and pull it out. It's not, you have this little mousy little tiny strap at the top. Um, really good, again, uh, good, good straps here where they rolled the fabric around the edge here so it's not just like the, the fabric doesn't come up to here. It has this nice soft uh, material. Has a little D-ring here that you can carry stuff. Has the ladder system. Um, I took that off as far as the center uh, chest strap, chest rig strap. And, um, you know, because again, and everything's removable on this pack, which is nice too. Only problem too is with the belly strap, these aren't tuck away, which was kind of a little bit annoying, not terrible. But um, again, it has a belly strap on it as well. I didn't use it again for travel because I don't like a bunch of extra straps laying around again, on the airplane, getting caught on stuff, that kind of thing. Um, and then also too, this is really, really generous with the, with the sizes and the lengths of this. So if you have like your jacket on or whatever, and you want to like absolutely make those the longest you can and put your jacket on, it makes it real easy to access the pack and get it on your back. And now for the moment of truth with this backpack of the Mount Smith Divide, the game changer. And some people are going to go, that's lame. But I'm telling you, when you travel with this backpack, you will understand what I'm saying. It is this laptop sleeve zipper area. The one thing I appreciate about this, this pack is that you have so much space padded that's extra from everything else in this backpack that's amazing. So what I did is I actually have some of these little pouches that I brought, it has my microphone, all that equipment. I have my gimbal in here. So I have a, um, an Evo gimbal that I brought with me as well. This is exactly what I brought this pack. And you can see like it is super, super thick on the cushioning all the way around. And actually when you, which it sounds strange when you kind of overstuff this. So my wife has an A6000 Sony camera that we also brought on the trip. And so what happened was, is when we were going and doing some hiking and doing some stuff around Nepal, what I did is I just set her camera in here down with the, with the lens up, zip this up and we're good to go. It stays out of the way of everything else in the pack, which I really appreciate. Again, it's that opposable color, that real bright yellow, so you can see if you have other things in here. Again, I carried my gimbal. I normally have a, I have a MacBook Pro 15-inch uh, uh, Retina display, so that actually gives me su a super amount of space in here so I can put other files, other things too in here. But the one thing I think that, the reason why I like this so much is just that it's such easy access in and out of the backpack. For me, I'm always pushing for backpacks, and I always tell this to Aaron, to give modular systems, other things that really are, th are thinking about the practical use of the backpack, not just in beauty, not just in looks, but what is like the maximum impact and ability for a backpack that if we say this is gonna be a travel backpack, the other thing like when you're going into TSA and you're going through it again to get your strip search and your full body cavity search, you know, other guys are like this and they're unzipping their backpack and they're like, oh, I gotta get my laptop out. Oh, crap, crap, I'm doing this, I go, if I'm traveling my backpack, I go, laptop, lay it on, laptop back in here while I'm putting my pants back on. You know, I got my belt on, got everything going back on. TSA is like, well, oh, that was too fast. So it just, the, the functionality of the backpack is really, again, a game changer for me. And also just the cushioning and the ability for this pack to carry other things besides even a laptop effectively and, uh, and in a way that really helps you to be more efficient with your travel or with your backpacking. Price point on this backpack is $70 on Amazon. Ranges from anywhere from 70 to about $90. Four different colors to choose from. 
You can go to the links below and Amazon. We always appreciate and thank you for supporting the channel by buying and purchasing things on Amazon. So we always appreciate companies like Mountain Smith that are willing to send us packs, send us gear, send us knives, all those kind of things so that we can review them, give you an honest review and uh, so that you can really make a smart purchasing decision. So we really encourage you also to go to all the different relevant social media sites that we're a part of, like, share, comment, be able to give us your feedback. We really appreciate your feedback. We always respond to it as well. And uh, stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.